Hi and welcome. In this video tutorial, I will show how to issue client TLS certificates with EGBCA. Make sure to watch our other videos for more information on how to run a PKI with EGBCA. I will start by creating a certificate profile. And in a previous video, I created this TLS server profile, which looks very close to what, my, what I want my TLS client profile to look like. So I will clone this one and name a new profile TLS client profile instead. I'll then edit it to make the necessary modifications, which will be that I only need to change the extended key usage from server authentication to client authentication. And I will leave everything else as I configured it in the previous profile. So watch that video if you haven't already. Extended key usages uh, describe how this uh, certificate and the key pair that it's uh, for can be used. If you need a key usage that's not available by default, you can go to system configurations and the extended key usages section here to add your own extended key usages as necessary. So I will save this client authentication profile and go ahead and create an end entity profile to be used together to describe what information about the holder of the certificate we want to add. I will create a new profile with the same name, TLS client profile, and edit it. In this profile, I'm going to leave end entity email as usable, but not required and modifiable. And what that means is that we can optionally add an email address to this user account in EDBCA so that we later on can enable, for example, notifications about uh, expiring certificates and uh, renewal if we want. In the subject DN attribute section, I will add a organization field and a country field. Common name here, I will leave as required and modifiable. So that means that a value will need to be added whenever a new certificate is issued. But for organization and country, I will add them as required and non-modifiable and instead add a fixed value for organization, key factor community. And for country, SE for Sweden. We could also optionally add a subject alternative name using any of these available fields. For example, we could add the email address that we register as an RFC 822 name. There is also the option to add the email address as an email address in DN attribute. Here. But I will not include the email or any other attributes in my certificate here. Next, we need to map this end entity profile to the certificate profile that we just configured, so the TLS client profile, and set the available CAs to be my PKI sub CA, so that only this CA can issue certificates with this profile. In the available tokens section, we define how key pair generation should be done. And here I will allow both user generated, so that means enrolling with a certificate signing request, CSR. And I will also allow the P12 format for CA side key pair generation. I will now save this profile and test it out by going to the EGBCA RA web. And here I will start by enrolling and making a new request. So that means for a user not already registered in EGBCA. And I will use my TLS client profile that we configured here. And this time I'll do key pair generation by the CA. So now I need to fill in information about the holder of the certificate. So what I want in the certificate. And I will add the common name test01. I will also use this as a username to save the certificate under in the GBCA database. And here I'm asked for an enrollment code and the password that I enter here will be used to encrypt the P12 file that I will get back. 
We also have the optional email field here, which uh, I will use to add an email test01 at my PKI. And this will not be added into the certificate, but rather as a metadata field in the GBCA database. And then I will download the PKCS12 or P12 file. There we go. So if I now open this downloaded file, we can see that it is encrypted and asking for a password. And that is what I entered in the enrollment code field. And now that it's unlocked, we can see that it contains a private key of the curve that I specified, as well as the certificate and CA chain that uh, are the issuer of the certificate. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, keep watching our other videos for more information on EGBCA.